gaming, gaming and gaming. In 2020 many specs can say that this thing is from the world of epic fights and skyscraping FPS number. As for the laptops, my stereotype was about a gigantic box with stylish look. Built-in Christmas tree lights, a heater for your apartment, not less than two power supplies and uh, I guess a bunch of wheels for 700 bucks to transport all that stuff. Well, the code was broken when I saw this guy, ROG Zephyrus G14. Today we take a quick look on that gaming machine without deep analysis, just to let you feel the same hype as we felt, and basically to give us more time to prepare a detailed review. Coming soon. Welcome to Techfellas, my name is Bogdan, and let's take into it. Starting from the outer look of the new model, so unexpectedly the gaming laptop turned out to be compact. Trust me, the box from that one is not tiny at all, but when you open it, knowing its gaming origin, and then it's BANG, a compact one, it's mind-blowing a bit. The body is made of magnesium alloy that plays role in making the laptop lighter, which by the way is 1.6 kilograms. That is a significant punch in the face of heavy laptops of the same class. Another surprising fact was the absence of cunning RGB keyboard light that I was expected in this laptop. At first I found I found it quite strange and kinda disappointing, but lately I came up with the thought that its elegant style just doesn't need all the childish swaggering. However, as for the stuff that grown-ups will definitely appreciate is a shiny laptop screen, indicators of work and regular keyboard lights. So to say the keys are pretty good, the tactile response is neat and the buttons lay noticeably separate from each other that is important in comfortable blind typing. Speaking about the body features, I was glad seeing the ergolift system here. Just in case you forgot, thanks to the space between the bottom of the laptop and the table, it is easier for the cooling system to get the cold air into the body. And it also makes work with the keyboard more comfortable by wedging it. What else is worth noting when you see the laptop for the first time is that there is no webcam in it. We found two ultimate reasons for this. The first is caring about your exceeding conspiracy. Say, what if Pentagon or Big Brother is watching you? Surely they would use Google for that, but anyway. And second, more important reason, in Zephyrus G14 we see one of the thinnest frame along the edges of the screen, so I think that engineers didn't want to plunder the top bar with anyway useless webcam. Now if you wonder about the ports, on the left there are power supply port, HDMI 2.0b, a headphone jack and multifunctional type C port with USB 3.2 support as well as display port 1.4 and power delivery. To the right, two standard USB 3.2 and another multifunctional Type-C. The lid also has something to show. This punch hole finish actually looks pretty decent and remember I told you about the childish backlight stuff? Well, Asus added another fun into another models from this line. Unlike our model, their punch holes have LEDs inside and you can display various images and even words with that. Now that is cool. As for G14, the final part about its body will be about the fingerprint reader that lives in the power button of the device. By far, the laptop has left only nice impressions about its work. Now a quick glimpse into the screen. It is 14-inch IPS with 2560 by 1440 resolution, full sRGB coverage and patent certification. In total, it's quite nice and comfortable to look at it. The image has excellent sharpness with pleasing colors. We watched videos, played some games and did a bit of work with documents. All these tasks are much more than comfortable to do here. In general, there are no complaints about the viewing angles, but the brightness adjustment is seemingly not enough. By far, let's say it's just okay. And finally, let me tell you about its hardware specs. The processor here is 8-core 16-stream AMD Ryzen 94900HS with a base operating frequency of 3 GHz that can be increased up to 4.3. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Max-Q with 6 gigs of memory is responsible for the graphics here. Our models got 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of PCI Express 3.0 SSD storage. So to say, it is ready for our gaming tests and working needs. Surfing the internet, playing games ran perfectly here without slowdowns. The games we played were in high graphics. 
we are also planning to test its work with editing in Premiere Pro, so stay tuned. Yeah, and don't forget that how nice performance is depends also on a cooling system that, by the way, is just furious here. The laptop is undeniably noisy because of that. Summarizing the stuff. Actually, the only thing to summarize here, it's definitely an interesting device, worth making a detailed review to say at least something constructive in conclusions. But if this quick look is enough for you and uh, what you ever wanted is a smart size gaming machine, you can definitely buy a G14. For the rest of curious people, make sure to subscribe to our channel and look forward for more. And if you like this video, then why not to hit the like button. My thanks for watching and cheers!